There was a wetland here many years ago and it's been filled in for various various reasons. Uh, wetlands are, store a huge amount of carbon so they actually help in climate mitigation with greenhouse gases. They bring biodiversity back. Everything that sustainability is is what this project essentially represents. Yes, we're, we're on the BCIT Burnaby campus right beside Guichon Creek and over my left shoulder about 100 meters away there's uh, the South Campus Forest and the students are building a wetland as part of a collaborative project for the BCIT campus. The group of students that's involved in this project are from the Ecological Restoration Program, the Forest and Natural Areas Management Program, the Fish and Wildlife Recreation Program, and the Rivers Institute. So it's quite a diverse collection and that was all made possible through the Dean's Collaborative Research Project. So it was a, it was a collaborative project all around. So they're re-excavating and reshaping the basin of the wetland, planting wetland plants in there and recomplexing it with bat boxes and bird houses and making it so it's closer to what its original sort of habitat function was. And then at some point we like to have an all-weather walkway built in so the community can come in and look at the, the wetland too. So we're hoping by middle of next summer, during the next summer sort of dry period, that we can get in and do that. And so it'll kind of highlight the value of having this unique living lab with the forest and Guichon Creek at the south end of campus. And it allows students to go out and, and use it and look as the wetland ages and see how it recovers from the construction phase. BCIT worked extremely hard over the summer with the faculty trying to figure out how are we going to deliver a traditionally very hands-on program like ecological restoration of the students but do it in a COVID compliant way. The courses are online but this hands-on workshop has stayed in person and it's been really good for the students to realize there are still in-person activities that need to take place in the COVID era. Industry is quite far ahead on that and all work sites, construction sites, everything is continuing on today. The protocols that we have in place here is the full suite of COVID safety protocols that the students have to follow and that includes going through the self-guided assessment that BCIT provides and then we gave them an hour by hour schedule agenda what was going to go on over the three days and they've had that for a couple of weeks to look at. And then once here all of the students are wearing masks, they're maintaining a minimum two meters distance social spacing, uh, we have hand wash stations and on top of that because there's construction equipment here they've got hard hats, high visibility vests and then we've had to adapt how they actually do the work so if the students use a shovel before they pass it over another student, they have to lay the shovel down on a tarp and then we disinfect the shovel, let it dry for 30 seconds or so, and then it can be picked up by the next student. So it's as safe as you can be in the worksite. It's very easy to just say, everybody just goes online and, and that's what it is. But our students have, have loud and clear indicated the best part of the course that they look forward to that uh, from what they get in their, in their program enrollment at BCIT is this hands-on experience. And so uh, I don't think anybody else could have pivoted and done this so quickly and maintained uh, you know, sort of an intensive three-day field, field course like BCIT did. So we should be pretty proud of what we've been able to pull off here.